Hello everyone, this is Going 77 here, and welcome to the grand finale, yes, the grand finale of Let's Play Free Duel. So, last we left off, we did ourselves the Grim Redoubt, which was the spirit world equivalent level of regular Doom, but uh, yeah, we're here finally at long last, and our epic showdown with the forces of evil and demon kind, yes, or should I say Free Doom. Hey, it's, so yeah, here we go. Enjoying our second to last level that we must do first before it gets you to the last level. The last stand, yes. The last stand. This is what it's all been leading up to right here. And it's going to be another one of those levels where we got to the three skull key doors right away. And we have to navigate the whole level to get to the skull key doors to progress through this. And uh, what do you have it already? Being attacked by a group of bloodthirsty wormish folks. Yes, yes. I'm sure we get rid of all these wormish shirts. Then chop them all down with their nice circular chainsaw. This teleporter does teleport us back to the main, the, the first starting area, where it just so happens to have the ending area right next to it. So keep that in mind. Once we, once we do have everything, we need to go back into that starting teleport. Right, right next to where all the wormy, dead wormy sperms are. Just, so yeah, here we are, the grand finale. Yes, I know we've all been waiting so long for this, but we're finally here. Here it's about kicking more ass and taking more names for the last time before Free Doom Guy goes into his retirement here. It's, and uh, yeah, just gonna, I did see an art file up there, and uh, oh, some more Kaku Demons coming to play, because why not? You know, it's the grand finale. All the demons are coming out to play, and all the fun times are resuming. Yes, even some new music here that's playing. Uh, again, uh, uh, yet again, more music than they are impressing and amazing. Right until the very end. Yeah, that is, you know, that is definitely uh, is pretty takes take some commitment, you know, to, it really does show what the uh, developers here that are still going on making this project, and yeah, it really does show the care and attention they put into it, which is a lot more than they used to, I must say, that now it seems that they put more in care and attention to this project more than ever, and uh, even though there are still a few things that need to be worked on here and there, mostly involving freedom phase one, but, uh, no, it's looking pretty good now, especially so since there are, it's not like before in the older versions where there are levels that are literally just incomplete messes and that you couldn't even complete them because the map was incomplete. But it's good to see that that has all changed now, finally. It's all changed and everything is all coming together, just as, the, just as they say, right? Yeah, alright. First, there is that switch in here. Let's go and activate it now. As it uh, takes us our elevator down here. Another Baron of Hell. It's another Baron of Hell. Listen to that epic music, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really jamming out to that. Hell yeah. Another great new song to add to my collection. Very nice. This is my Freedom collection. I don't have a Freedom collection. I'm just, <laughs> this is obviously. Uh, just like to say it. <laughs> Alright, now if I remember correctly, this lift should take us up to these windows here, which then we can then use to run off of and onto these platforms here. Starting with this one over here with the creepy shrimps. Because we go around in the other side here and pick up this inv partial invisibility. And blow myself up, because yeah. Really now? Come on. Hey, I guess it's the grand finale, so it wouldn't be, with it, it wouldn't be without it with all the poopers, I guess. Yeah, and it happened near the end of the so whatever. Yeah, it's how to watch those clips, I guess. Because, yeah, they'll, they'll get you. It's uh, cause you to blow yourself up. But, yeah, here we are again in the second to last level. The grand finale, the last stand. And, yes, this is an older free dude. Uh, an older pre-doom level design too, if I haven't said that already. 
just through the addition of the new music as well. Yet again, adding epic new banner musics here. It is uh, pretty good. They're better than the older versions, even though the older Free Doom uh, versions of music that they had was pretty good too. It was very too, it was too much similar to the original Doom soundtrack. It was a lot similar. And so I'm glad to see that they didn't uh, make it so obvious now this time around. It actually sounds like its own soundtrack, you know. It's pretty good. Alright, now we deal with that uh, Kappa Demon again. I'm just gonna have to let him get close to us because uh, he's just floating off away. He's just floating off into space. He's doing, he's doing his own day there, yes. Yeah, he's decided he's having enough and he's just gonna float away. I'm gonna deal with this arch file again now. So they're killing these demon shmeemans. More heathen demons to kill. Very good, because yeah, that arch file is gonna be a problem. I can tell already if we don't deal with him now, he's probably gonna get released or something and resurrect a bunch of uh, other monsters. That really won't be good. Now, if I can kill these damn Kaku demons already, that'd be great. And you, sir, who is supposed to be floating off into space, you as well. All right, let's kill this one. Yeah, be a little careful that we don't blow ourselves up again. Not to be very ideal. And uh, now we do with you again. Yes. And thankfully, he seems to be uh, restricted to that elevator. Yeah, he's not coming out of his little, his little safe zone there. All right, so we'll be sure to give up a nice personal message of uh, a bunch of luck shot to the face with our super shotgun. Very good. Uh, so, oh, looks like he already, he looks like he just wasn't having it anymore, I guess. Alright, so try this again and not blow ourselves up. We're gonna, yeah, do it right here. I do notice there's that Arachnotron fighting down there. He uh, seems to be fighting other monsters. Including, uh, other, other Arachnotrons by the looks of things? It doesn't really make any sense. Like, monsters who shoot projectiles cannot be hurt by it other's attacks, but okay, yeah, now he's shooting at me again. Must have been uh, like a Kaku demon or a different type of demon then. Because now, yeah, now you see that we're at a bit of a situation here, given that we don't have very much space to walk around and that this lava definitely does hurt us by walking on us. So yeah, we do have, it's not very good. We do have to think of something to do here. And I think what we need to do is go up this elevator and jump into that teleporter there. I think that teleporter does take us somewhere new. We're about to find out. Oh, or maybe not. No, we're just going to flub it and, uh, yeah. Alright, we'll, we'll get it this time. We'll get it. Make sure we get a good running start. Alright, there we go. Yeah, and we're in a new area. And hey, doesn't this look familiar? Or look a little bit familiar to, uh, that one, uh area in Doom 2, Hell on Earth, that had that enclosed box with all those imps and uh, pain elementals on you. Yeah. I think that's what that was supposed to be here with that room. I'm pretty sure. Definitely seemed like it. So it was a lot similar, but uh, yeah. Alright, unfortunately we didn't really get what we needed because yeah, we're still empty-handed here and don't have any keys. Not very good, so we're going to have to keep searching. Get this damn cap already. It's just all the way over there. Yeah, it's pretty annoying how they just fly away like that. It makes it even harder for you to hit them. They have a real tendency. They're, they're, they're the monster that has a real tendency. I mean, Lost Souls do it too, but not as much. That they just get knocked back so much when you shoot them and they just decide to go completely reverse on you and go loose. Yeah. And if you hit them really hard like that, then they can go flying backwards. Provided that they have enough health to take the hit, of course, still. Otherwise, they'll just drop like a fly like that. But they'd still be, be knocked back pretty much. Pretty good. So at least there's that still. Alright, you guys can die. Alright, I don't know where all you Kaku demons are being released from, but... Yeah, I'm not really liking it. I would advise you guys to stop if you don't want a face full of lead. Alright, let's try this again. And uh, let's see. Is it, uh, do I go in this teleporter? No, it takes me back here as well. Okay. 
All right, well, let's uh, let's try this again, and because uh, yeah, there's supposed to be uh, we need to figure out where we're supposed to go to next. And this uh, instead of walls and stuff being our obstacle, it is lava, which is our obstacle this time. Yes, the spicy hot lava. That's all good. So watch out, be careful. So, yeah. Make sure we kill all you guys first before proceeding. Because uh, having the lava here is bad enough already. Alright, what do we need to do now? Is there a. No, no door, hidden door, secrets or anything? Uh. Alright, maybe I just walk and go up there, but. Uh, well, it doesn't look like I can because. Yeah. They look like they're too high for me to step on over. Well, I'm going to try real quick anyways, and... Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Well, shit. What am I supposed to do, then? Are you going to be like this again, game? Where? Where? No. I already hit this switch. So where? Oh, man. Alright, looks like we're going to have to save here, just in case, because we're going to have to run across all this lava and probably die just figuring out where we're supposed to go to next all right so where game over here all right yeah i think it's over here okay all right we're gonna just quickly load our last save so we take less damage running over all that lava lava shmava and all right here we go come on come on all right yeah we're at a little bit more health this time because yeah looks like this is our area we're supposed to go to next and another one of this, and I remember this this uh, building here. And yeah, if I also remember, it's gonna have a bunch of chain gunners. Oh god, look at them all. Yeah, it's getting riddled with bullets and everything there. They're, they're even shooting each other. It's, it's just so much awesome bullets flying around for them to handle. And who can really blame them, right? It's, everybody loves catching bullets these days, I guess. But uh, yes, we got. Our, I did notice we got the blue skull key from that, which is very good. Definitely will help us out, especially when we go back here and pick up this BFG. It's the Skag Heat. Time to kick some ass. Oh yeah! All right. Uh, it's just all opened up. But uh, where to now? Looks like I have to hit that switch up there. I doubt it. shooting it's gonna work. Yeah, no, I didn't think it would. Uh, let's see, and uh, I just maybe I just go through that blue skulky door thingy now. All right, let's just make our way back then. Try not to take too much damage. Ah, oh, thank, thank God that we didn't, because now we go on to our next challenge here in the, uh, in the epic grand finale of Let's Play Free Duel. And I see that we got our red skull key there already. Is the uh, pressing this do anything to help us get into it? Uh, yes, it does. Excellent. Just have to wait a few seconds. Yep, just waiting it out. Almost there. Come on. All right. Thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you. All right, then we'll make our way back again. Oh, I see more Kakuin even spawning in, so let's hurry up and make our way back. Save again, just in case. A little, we're going to be extra careful on our grand finale here, folks. Yes, be extra careful. That's when we made uh, quite a lot of good progress. And uh, yeah, it'll take us into this area, which I also remember. It's going to bring us to this big, cool looking marble stone building. And we are going to do just that in, in entering it, just after we kill these Kaku demons here again. Once again, popping out of this seemingly out of nowhere. Yeah, I, I know there is a couple more of you guys. Let's go ahead and blow them up. Oh, they're gonna do. They're gonna. They're gonna split up. Oh, they're smart. They're being smart, guys. They're splitting up so they don't all get blown up by my rockets at once. But that's okay. Nothing like a bunch of chain gun bullets can't fix. All right. So uh, now we move into here. And be careful because yeah, there are. Some, I do remember being strong enemies here, including you guys. Not so much these dudes down here, but yeah, we're gonna be sure we take care of you first because yeah, even though there is an archvile there, we, we, we need to 
sort of be able to get up here first before we can actually really get them. Before we can really get them, yo, know? you know? Alright, Tendo, I didn't realize I was out of shells there as well. Yeah, that's why I auto switched my weapons. And oh god, no, no, no! Well, that was a bit of a close one. But, uh, not quite fast enough. And ah, ha, ha! You got crushed. Ah, ha, you suck. Alright, there's a uh, good riddance with that monster there. Because now, let me go up and just teleports us here. Hit the switch there. Say hello to even more Capitans popping out of their hidey holes. And uh, pick up the yellow skull key. Very nice. And see how we killed that arch file from before. Yeah, see, it would have been released and, re and resurrecting all those monsters had we not done that at the beginning. But oh my god, it is a siren even. Oh jeez. Looks like we got one final showdown here before we enter the final last level. Yes. All of this, we're still not on the final level. Oh my god, it's just right on the corner. Alright, alright, alright. We gotta stay away from this arch. This arch. This cyber demon here. But we might not even have to fight him because, yeah, we can just teleport up here and uh, go into our exit. So, yeah, we can say sayonara to that damn cyber demon because we got better things to deal with. Like saving the world. Yes. Alright, so that's the second to last level. Last stand completes. Now we move on to the final level of our grand finale the Jaws of Defeat. Alright, here we are. Final confrontation. Hell yeah. <laughs> Picking up all these goodies here. Hell yeah. And we've got this music again, which is actually a old preview uh, music that we played also in the final level. So good to see you return to the song. Which I like too. I actually really like this song. So yeah, good to see it. Make a return to this level. Because it looks like there's not very many monsters here. Okay, it looks like they're just gonna go by the. Uh, how it was in the original, the final level of the original game 2, where it's pretty much the, just the big arena with the icon of Sin. So yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to see what the icon of Sin for preview looks like, but uh, here we go. We're going to find out right now. And oh! <laughs> oh! Alright, I don't know if you guys heard it there, but yeah, he said his message uh, that like the original bed in D2, and I must say, it is that still that, after all these years, still that very goofy looking big ass skull texture with horns. <laughs> as well as the arena, this this was the same in the old version of this final map too. The only difference is that it had pretty much a huge gauntlet of other monsters that we to go through, which was actually a one of the other levels that we did in, in one of the previous levels that we did. Yeah, they were so switched around into that one, but yeah. It looks like they decided to keep it nice and short this time around with this one. But just here, you know, I, I, I think it's already going to be pretty hectic enough as it is with this arena, and as you can see, he is spawning more monsters in, but just like the original Doom's icon is hit, and just like in original Doom, we gotta get to that, we gotta gain access to that elevator in the middle by actually meeting these switches. And the sooner we do that, the better, because they're just going to keep being more and more monsters coming in. Thankfully, they're, they're, they're not all against me. They are fighting each other, some of them are at least. So we'll be sure that they do that while we go in and for the kill on this guy here. And yeah, oh god, hopefully they yeah, don't get hit in the crossfire here. Oh jeez, well that's an invulnerability sphere, that would help. But uh, I think we're just going to go straight to it and pump our rockets. It does it, it's exposed brain, like the the description in the original Doom says. Yes! Ah, I blew him up, guys! I did it! Yeah. <laughs> Take that! And just like that, all the monsters are dead, and the world is saved. Yes, I did it! <laughs> Alright, so let's change this game. Final level completed. So, without further ado, let's just show you guys off finally that final intermission in Deep Street. So here we go. Let's see what it has to say. The evil thing becomes unstable. Its final roars echo throughout the room 
until it crumbles into scrap metal. A portal opens up, and in it, you see a small town. You jump in quickly, and learn its lesson this time. Hopefully, no one will know who saved them. No one will know what happened here. No one will ever find you again. Alright, okay. It's interesting text there, but uh, yeah, looks like we finally did it! Yes, going off into our peaceful town, and Free Doom Guy gets to finally live happily ever after. Ah, good to see. But, we're not done just yet. We do have to take the time and see what these new monster names are, so let's go ahead and see what we got here. Alright, very creative and original starting zomb zombie for this <laughs> starting enemy here. Very good. Shotgun zombie, even more creative. Even better. Minigun zombie, okay, yeah, that is good. Yeah. Okay, but this one's the serpent, serpent to meet. But that's supposed to be like a mix of the snake and their and the centipedes. Oh, I guess that does explain all the little legs on there. But yeah. All right. Well, there you have it. There. That's uh, the answer to that. I guess the answer to that uh, design as well. Flesh worm. Yeah, kind of saw that name coming for that monster. Dead Flare, and the, the the Invisible Worms, the Spectres are called Stealth Worms, by the way, it doesn't say that in this, but they're called Stealth Worms. But, uh, let's see, we got the Dead Flare, Dead Flare name replacement for the Lost Soul, okay, very nice. The Tree Low Bites, okay, that's the, yeah, obviously the Cat Demon, okay. The Pain Breeder, oh, okay, that's the, that must be the Hell Knights. Okay. And we have the Pain Lord playing the Hell Baron. I, I kind of like the switch of the arm cannons there. I didn't notice that. Pretty cool. Techno Spider. <laughs> Funny name for the Arachnatron. And Summoner is the name for the... The rename for the Pain Elemental. We've got the Dark Soldier. Oh, that's what they're called. Dark Soldiers. This, uh, I kind of like the Black Goblin. Or even Dark Goblin would have worked. But uh, I guess Dark Soldier is just going to have to do it. Alright, we got Combat Slug. Or Fat Slug. Not too far off from what they are, to be fair. Alright. And the Necromancer. Uh, just uh, straight up calling them the Necromancer, huh? Cool. And I mean, that is a pretty cool monster design with that cool head thing. Yeah. The Arc, the Free Doom Arc file, the Necromancer. Very cool design. It is a lot more detailed than it was in the old skeleton looking art style. And we have the large techno spider playing the role of the spider mastermind. I like those little arms. I, I love that death animation, by the way. It's very hilarious. Indeed. Finally, we have the assault tripod playing the part of the cyber demon. Yes, you annoying bastards. Yes, glad I didn't deal with you earlier. And finally, we have us, the savior of humanity. Yes, there we are, in all my glory, free new guy. Yes. All right. So, yeah, that's all. This finished and done. And uh, right, I'm trying to keep playing, but uh, yeah, that's free new for you folks. Very, uh, very cool, interesting project. I was uh, always did admire what the strive for, you know, making a nice free playable platform for people here. And, uh, yeah, they did pretty good over the years. I mean, with all these, uh, newer versions coming out. Like I said before, they're, I wouldn't say that they're completely done yet. I'd say that there's still a bit more work to be made here and there, mostly involving difficulty and stuff like that. And maybe adding some more ammo and, and, and stuff like that in some of the other levels in Freedom Phase 1, but, uh, yeah, all the levels are completed now by the looks of things, and yeah, they did pretty good. They did pretty good, but I think this is going to be the end here. The last of the free new episode here. And thank you so much, everyone, for watching. A special thanks for all of you who stuck since the very beginning of this playthrough. Even the uh, Phase 1 playthrough. But it's all going to have to end now. So, with that being said, finally, thank you so much, everyone, for watching like the video as well as the other ones that I upload on here and don't forget to drop a like, comment, or subscribe as I upload videos almost every day so be sure to hit that bell and get those notifications 
series to stay tuned for next time for some more epic old games coming your way. Yes. That's really done with our finally done with our freedom adventures here. Yes, we're we'll looking forward to seeing you guys there. As well as we're we'll looking forward to me being there, of course, and not fucking it up. Yes. <laughs> so yes. In the meantime though, Cinema Queen 77 finally signed it off. And as always, take care everyone. Bye.